Hello, this is John from OptionsMeister.com, and I wanted to do a short video today to show you an adjustment that I do on some defined risk credit spreads, uh, puts credit spreads, and uh, call credit spreads, obviously. I don't know that anyone teaches this, or I haven't seen it anywhere, uh, because for lack of a better reason, I've come up with the name boxing, but let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if this is a uh, March 27th, 2023, I've got the April 21 expiration on this NVIDIA call credit spread. So you can see this call credit spread is totally blown through the uh, my 255 long. So this is a losing trade. I cannot roll this. Uh, this is the week we roll because of the 21 days expiration week. Uh, we like to adjust these trades. If I go out to May, you'll see that if I go 250, 255, I, it's a debit. I, if it was a few cent debit, I may do it, but uh, I don't like to put good money after bad. So it has to be zero or credit for me. Uh, or like I said, a few penny debit wouldn't bother me too much. So what I've come up with is uh, what I, like I said, what I call boxing the trade. And it's simply adding the opposite credit spread to an existing position. So I did this earlier and I could show you what I did, but this is a, I got the 250-255, which I, if you look down here over on the right, you'll see on uh, February 23rd, I collected $1.70. So if this thing blows through the whole thing, it's going to cost $5 uh, to uh, close that trade. So it's a loss of $3.30, which is what we expect. I mean, when we put on these credit spreads, we're typically risking two to make one. I rarely get the full 100% uh, losers, but they do occur. So you... Uh, need to be prepared for them. It's all part of the probabilities and, and the math that we use every single day. But uh, what there, there's a couple things that I like to do. Like I, first thing I showed you, if I can't roll it, I just sit there and let it sit. And, you know, uh, hopefully by the grace of the option gods, it comes back into range. If it gets back around 250, two and a half or below that, I probably could roll it then for a credit uh, or a uh, or zero, which would make sense. But what I've come up with or what I've done on some of these larger stocks that have a, some decent amount of premium is I've, I've added the opposite side uh, credit spread. So I've got a call credit spread that's totally loser, full loser right now. I So what I've done today, a little bit earlier, is I've added the 255, uh, 250 put credit spread. So uh, you'll probably say, why would you do that? If the thing comes back here, you're gonna, it's going to be a winner, and that's fine. And that's that's really the way we typically manage them. But what I've ended up doing on some of these bigger ones, and I don't do them on the little ones. They have to have enough premium to make uh, make sense. When I looked at this yesterday or uh, the other day, it was $1.80, so it's already come in a lot because of the contraction, the implied volatility rank. I'd like to see that a little bit higher. But for this example, this will be fine. Uh, we collected $1.50. We previously collected the dollar seventy, so now we've got three twenty in total premium. So if this thing stays up here above two fifty five, this is going to be a full loser on the call side. The put side is going to be a full winner. Instead of losing three thirty, we only lose obviously the five dollars less the three twenty collected a dollar eighty. So that that's a little more palatable, obviously. But there's another little twist to these. Uh, if you, and it depends on your account size. So uh, I don't want to be presumptuous and think everybody's got account size that could do this. But uh, in this case, we obviously have wings, and it, uh, it's only five dollars in buying power on on either side. But if this thing comes uh, and this trade moves and it gets back in between these, the 250 and 255, now I've got an inverted strangle. So I've got a lot of options. At that point, I can close this whole thing out and open up a new inverted, this is an inverted on condor, and pro possibly uh, adjust the trades. If, if that does show up, I may put a little uh, short video on that and show you. But uh, if it does get in between here, I could, I could roll this thing out again if you have the buying power because it's going to take some decent buying power uh, let me close it clear of that I'll go back here if I if I buy both of these sides back and I come in and let's just go to the next expiration you can see that I I've $31 I can even put on a regular strangle 
for a scenario, I could put a 275, 260 strangle. Now I'm back to a strangle, but again, that's going to take a fair amount of buying power to do, probably three grand. So uh, that's per contract. So that's something to keep in mind. But it was, it does kind of give you an out. Now you're back to a regular strangle. You know, hopefully it stays in there. Probably doesn't. You'll be managing it again. But uh, that's an option. Uh, obviously, you can go to a inverted uh, strangle and uh, like like that you could go with the same strikes depends on what your bias is if you want to center the price uh like today if i wanted to close this one uh let's just see what it would be and i just put the uh, put side on so it's about five bucks to close it and that's all it's going to cost to close this the, the most this thing can cost you is five bucks to close it it can't you know because it's five dollars wide on both sides can't be anymore it's not like it's ten dollars so so then we might go out if we went out to may and let's just say we did basically, but we centered it around price. It's 265 and we did something like this. Let's see. See, that's $5. So you could roll it out if you wanted to play the game again. But what I would like to do is if I have the buying power, I'll just go out and uh, probably convert it to a regular strangle. Maybe go to an inverted strangle uh, and uh, you know collect all that extra premium, you know, $5 to close it. And, you know, so that... So that gives you an idea of what uh, what you can do. It, there's a lot of flexibility in that. And, and again, I don't know if I've never seen this. I, I've been trading options for 15 years. I've never seen somebody talk about that because typically, you know, we put on a credit spread, and if it doesn't work, we let it go to expiration, and uh, you know, becomes a, if it's out, becomes a full loser. If we could roll it, uh, if we can exit it or roll it, uh, that's what we do. Exit would be for, uh, you know, scratch would be the primary, uh, the first choice. But if we could roll it out for a credit or zero to the next operation expiration cycle, that would be good. But uh, again, this is a, a simple little adjustment. It probably doesn't, if you're new to newer to this, it might not make as much sense because you say, okay, now you've taken on the risk on this side, on the put side. Wonder if it does exactly what you think it's going to do. It closes below 250. Now, bear in mind, with a 70 delta, we've only got about a 30% chance it's going to close below 250. I kind of like those odds. And again, if it gets back in the middle here, now you've put this on, you, you've collected that extra premium. Now you've got the 250, 255, basically an inverted iron condor. You can put it on for another uh, another cycle. Or, like I said, you know, roll this out to a, a regular strangle or something. A lot of opportunities or a lot of options i should say a pardon the pun to do there once it gets that point but it's just something that, that i do uh you know i've mitigated the loss by the dollar 50 i collected and you know maybe i'll be uh sorry for having done it in a few weeks but i, I really don't think that way i just say hey, okay this is what i'm going to do uh, i like to do it on a down day you can see nvidia's down i i would much prefer the the IV rank higher. Actually, when I did this roll, I think IV rank was 14 or 15. So it's come in a lot today because the markets are up a little bit. But uh, that's just a way to kind of mitigate the loss. And it's not like you're totally giving up. I mean, now instead of losing, like I said, 330, if it doesn't come in, now you're you're losing 180. And you still have that outside shot if you understand uh inverted strangles how to manage them or even converting them to a to a regular strangle so i hope that uh helps if you uh, have any questions certainly leave comments uh in the uh, comment field or uh, reach out to me at optionsmeister.com uh, uh, look forward to speaking with you good luck and great trading